What's up, mother suckers? Welcome back to another video. Wherever you're watching this, thanks a lot for tuning in. You're probably on your lunch break, dinner, in the bathroom, hiding from your wives and kids, on a damn toilet, wherever you are. Again, thank you all for tuning in. Today, I am checking in all the way from San Diego Bay at Harbor Island. Yeah, I know, Harbor Island, right? The spot I always fish at. Yeah, well, you know what? There's fish here, and they're here to be caught, and that's why I'm here. And today, I have joining me my buddy, Ken, right behind me right here. We are gonna be fishing the incoming tide. The tide should be peaking around 8 a.m. Not sure how high, let me double, triple check. We are in the middle of the swing. It's gonna be peaking at 8.04 a.m. It is currently 5.50 a.m. So we got about, what, two hours? Yep. It's going to be peaking at 4.7 feet because currently right now it is at 3.56 feet. So I think we got a fairly good window to fish because usually when the tide slacks out, the fish don't really bite anymore. I don't know. That, that's how it's always been for me for years. Once the tide slacks out, it's like game over, son. You ain't catching nothing. But hopefully the sun comes out today and whatever is out here decides to come out to join us. I will be throwing again micro jigs i mean i'm pretty sure you guys watched the video right before this one where i introduced to you guys the new rod i got all the way from japan i had so much fun with that rod so i decided to bring it out again and that's the only rod i brought out i know it's super flimsy but it makes everything feel like a giant and with that custom reel and the clicking drag can't beat that man you guys know me big or small i'm gonna try to catch them all all right guys that's enough talking me and ken we're gonna get rigged up right now and get our lines wet so you guys stay tuned in enjoy the show let's go <laughs> dude, I love this rod. It's so fun, bro. I was I was watching the video. I'm like, dude, that looks very flimsy. And then you compare it to it's like you compare it to an ugly stick. So I was like, yeah, I kind of. Right, it's pretty dark right now. I'm gonna fish with my headlamp on. Just gotta find a decent rock to stand on. You look like nice rock. Okay, you're nice. On spill. Starting off with the major craft micro this is the glow so i don't know if you guys ever seen this before but it's a zebra glow watch this let me charge it up hopefully you guys can see it on camera here we go whoa check that out you guys see it you guys probably can't see it let me try again i'm like blinding myself right now charge it boom no oh, you guys probably can't see it whatever but it glows in the dark <laughs> Our soft cast complete. <laughs> now let the games begin. Dang, no effort and it just goes a freaking mile. It's pretty chilly this morning. So Ken is gonna be switching over to the top water while I stick to this micro. Cause I already got a bite on this. So I'm pretty confident that the bite will pick up on the micro, but if Ken gets a blow up on the top, I'll switch over. So, you know, we'll see what they like right now. Pretty quiet. Must be a reason why no one's fishing. What's going on? The saying early bird gets the worm is a lie. <laughs> there gotta be a barracuda or something around. Cause I hear the docks are filled with barracudas right now. Yeah. I don't want to fish the docks, dude. I don't want to offend people. I know, I heard that. That's why I'm switching over. <laughs> I know this rod is not meant for top water, but I'm doing it anyways. It don't matter. Ken is getting lit up right now on the top water. That means I gotta come in and help him out. Reinforcement coming in. Hopefully I don't eat shit. Going down these rocks, man. Y'all gotta be careful coming down these rocks. Get hurt pretty bad. So we way out there? Look how far I got that. <laughs> Barely. Oh. You saw that? 
That was a big old blow up on mine. Damn, second cast of the top water blown up on. I know this rod is not made for top water, but I want to get one on it. I would literally just have to thumb the spool once I get blown up on that way the hook's set and then not let the rod do all the work because your standard top water rod has a, obviously a stiffer tip. That way, yeah, the hook will set itself into the fish. Yeah, there's just uh, random patches of grass on the surface out there. Don't do it, bird. Don't do it. You saw that, huh? I did. Right when I looked at your bait. Yeah, he swirled on it. I was gonna switch back to an iron until I saw that. <laughs> yeah, they're here. They're just not hitting the surface. All I had was that one big blow up and a couple small ones. That was it. Right there. Tell me you saw that. That was two of them. Yeah. Still following it. Yeah, they're like messing with me, bro. There it is. Yeah. Way out there. <laughs> my first top water fish. Oh, my first top water mag. Yeah, look how fat he is. There you go. My first top water macro. <laughs> Oh, I got a hook in my leg. Ow. I'll survive. He didn't put up a crazy fight, though. Maybe because he had a trouble in his eyeball. I'm going to switch back to the iron. I got my topwater fish. I'm happy. All right, back to the zebra glow, guys. Y'all know the drill. If macro's out here, I'm gonna get him. Well, so far, one fish caught between us two. Me. Ken's on, finally. Let me get out there. there he is. Oh, yellow tail. Yellow tail. There you go, Ken's first fish. Oh, yeah. Mac attack. They're, they're pretty fat, bro. Yeah. I didn't bring no cooler, so I'm not keeping them. Ken is throwing the live bait pattern. I'm throwing the zebra glow. Maybe if I switch it up after this cast to a different color, get bit. I don't know. We'll see. Wow, beautiful morning. Look at the sunrise over downtown Smelly Dago. What Ken did was he let it sink for 10 seconds. You know what? I'm going to let it sink for. 11 seconds. How about that? You know what? I gave it extra credit. I let it sink for a whole 30 seconds. <laughs> Two generous. And then uh, there is a theory out there that people don't believe that color matters or color doesn't matter. Wait, let me start over. Oh, damn, right there. I'll just start the retrieve over. <laughs> you heard me. Color don't matter. What? All right, I'm going to let you know this right now. Ain't no macro. <laughs> no, ain't no macro. 
No, it's not even running. It feels like a bass. Show yourself! I hope so. I'm gonna I'm hold you up to it. It's probably a bass, dude. I'm pretty positive it's a bass. Look at that rod bed. Yeah, it's a bass. Yeah, good one too. It's a good bass. <laughs> see, see, see. Oh, he messed me up. This guy. You know how many thumbs have been sacrificed? To lift these guys all right there we go <laughs> the, <laughs> oh man my thumb is jacked dude from like the past trips yeah mine too. i forgot what we we're talking about oh yeah people say color didn't matter yeah but sometimes it does fortunately that fish didn't care <laughs> he's like let me prove that theory <laughs> all right so that was a 30 second count if I do a 35, do I get a halibut? Ooh, plot twist. All right, so far this rod is holding up. I mentioned in my other video that there's two dots, one on the top, one on the bottom. It indicates if your rod is lined up correctly. And so far, I have not messed with it. Caught about seven fish with it now. It has not shifted. That's a good sign. Definitely a good sign. And yeah, I know this rod is not made for top water. We got one on the top though. Yeah. Will I do it again? Hell, uh, hell yeah, why not? <laughs> I mean, I got rods for top water and drink bait, but I mean, I fish top water with my BFS rod. So dude, this is like triple BFS? I don't know. I don't know dude. Getting the hang of this, the whole spiral wrap thing. It's not really bugging me as much. No. no, I wanna show you guys the rod tip. The last four guides of this rod is white. So I guess that helps you, you know, see your light strikes at night. But yeah, it has a rod tip that is white and the rest is black. How many guides does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guides. The first main guide is 12, 10, nine, seven six 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 yeah i mentioned that in the video where i introduced this rod but i figured i'd explain it again because i know i'm going to get questions regarding it and as far as specs it is seven six lure max 60 grams 60 grams is pretty damn heavy so seven grams is a quarter ounce 14 grams is half ounce so and so on you guys can do the math i'm not going to sit here and do it for you guys but I wouldn't recommend throwing anything over half ounce with this rod at all. This rod is pretty much made for what? Micro pitching? Yeah. Uh, but I'm not pitching at all. <laughs> and the line rate is 0.4 PE to 1 PE. And 1 PE I believe is equivalent to 20 pound test. 20 or 25 pound test. You guys can Google that, find it. It's there somewhere. This rod is made in Vietnam. That's where I'm from and came from Japan, Japanese design. All right, the model right here is CRXJ-B762MJ-S. Again, guys, everything I use in this video, including this rod, reel, line, lure, water, will be in the description below. Be sure to check that out, all right? So enough of this talking, let's get back to fishing. So if Ken catches another one on the light bait pattern, I'll switch my color over. Because I want to prove this theory. A lot of people are like, oh, color doesn't matter. And a lot of people say, oh, color does matter. We'll see. So Zebra Glow versus Aji. All right. And we're both throwing micros, 15 gram. Same exact bait, just different color. So Ken's working his bait a lot different. He's doing more sporadic pops. What I'm doing, I'm just lifting the rod up like that, reel up the slack. And he's giving it a 10 second drop. I'm giving it an 11 second drop. <laughs> so maybe that one second can change it all if you catch a fish in a boil it doesn't count <laughs> this is how i was catching my fish the other day 
Oh! Get off! Oh, right there! On, son! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right at the boil. Ken, I think this color works, but then again, I did say boils don't count. Cast my bite! They're over there! <laughs> Look at this rod. It's just so fun, bro. It's like fly fishing, except I'm not fly fishing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know it's just a macro, but it's just so much fun on this rod. On shore. I'm really, I'm really hoping he unhooks himself, but that's, it doesn't look like it's happening. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah, he got all the hooks. Hoya. Hoya. Yeah, this thing helps. You guys are thinking I'm like squeezing the shit out of the fish. I'm not. I'm barely holding on. Since these are designed to hold fish of this caliber, I wouldn't recommend you using it on a bass or um, Corvina or anything like that. Here you go. So yeah, if you guys are wondering, I didn't get this for, what's it called? For bass, Corvina, or anything like that. I got it for specifically macro and possibly Barracuda. Cause those things are super slimy. I, I don't care for touching them much or anything like that. I just rather grab them and then deal with the smell later. I'm probably going to hear it in the comments. Everyone's going to be like, oh, we'll just grab the fish. And you guys know Barracuda and Macro. They're known to be like freaking insane. That's pretty cool though. Got them in the boil. We tried. We did. We did. Hey, you caught one? I did. You caught three? Three? Three. Yeah. Couple blow ups. It's not bad. Yeah, could be worse. Yeah. Could be like you, only catching one. <laughs> Just, kidding. Just kidding, man. Alrighty then, guys. We are not closing it out just yet. We're not giving up just yet. We got about roughly another hour to fish. It is 7:51 a.m. right now. Tide peaks at 8:03 or 8:04 a.m. So we got a good solid five minutes of fishing. So the bite slowed down dramatically. We did manage a total of four fish, five fish, four. Uh, three macros in one spotty not bad of a spotty wish it was bigger but it is what it is so we're gonna be cruising up and down uh, Harbor Island right now we, like I said we have about another hour to fish if we're lucky and hopefully we find an open spot you know park cast out a couple times and fingers crossed and hopefully we catch something we were talking about which bait would get bit more if color matter we we're both throwing a major craft 15 gram micro I was throwing a zebra glow and he was throwing the live bait Saba. Before we even talked about it, I did catch a spotty already and then I ended up hooking up on a macro. So that's two for me on the iron and one for Ken. We did have days where certain colors did work better than other colors, but I, I don't know. I mean, depends on the fish you're targeting, I guess. If you guys have experience with this, comment below, let me know. But we are now at our second destination. So let's hope they're here. Let's go. What a morning. Total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fish caught. Yeah, seven fish caught. We got four macros, five macros. Yeah, total of five macros and one Corvina, one spot of bay bass caught this morning. It was a pretty tough morning, I'm not gonna lie, but it was very eventful. We started off with top water. Ken tried the jerk bait. Yeah, we just stuck with irons there. We did try soft plastics, but it was not a success. So me and Ken decided to do a little challenge between patterns because there's this theory out there that color matters, pattern matters, they don't matter. I don't freaking know. So I was throwing the Major Craft Jig Power Micro in Zebra Glow, and he was throwing the Jig Power Micro in Aji. Which one produced more? Well, 
for macro, it really doesn't matter what you throw at them. They're going to eat anything and everything. You can throw a cigarette butt on a hook, they'll bite it. But if you were to ask me, um, I did catch that spotty on the zebra glow and all he caught was what two one or two two right yeah he caught two macro on his iron i know for a fact that one may work better than the other given the conditions you're working with especially with sun overcast rainy days early mornings late nights evenings it all boils down to conditions so you just gotta learn to adapt with it figure out the pattern match the hatch and maybe you'll get lucky maybe you won't that's why I always say, have variety. Don't just have one color you believe in. You know, I, I'm sure everyone has their go-to color of certain style of baits. Figure out what they want and stick to it. And that's how I learned. Me starting off fishing artificials, I've had old friends that taught me how to drop shot and work the top water and jerk bait. And then from then on, everything I learned was on my own. And I don't have all the answers. I'm constantly learning just like you guys. You know what, it's fishing. It's made for you to come out here, relax figure things out on the water while you're by yourself out here at your temple doing your thing. All right, oh, man, oh man. But man, let me tell you guys, it got hot. It got freaking hot. I mean, well, not crazy hot, it got warm. The sun is blaring, burning through my freaking Puma shoes from Costco. I'm sweating under. When I had that GoPro chesty on, whoo, you can see my sweat marks, my titty marks. Yeah, I mean, it's San Diego. Weather is bipolar. Last night was cold as hell. Yesterday was pretty damn hot. Uh, and over the past weekend, we had storms, thunder, lightning, San Diego. You can't really complain, you know. This is bipolar weather. People pay that extra tax for this tropical weather we have here. Some people come out here for vacation and end up staying. It's true too, like yeah. San Diego. So yeah, my, my message to you guys is that if you're out here, you're fishing, figure it out, have variety, adapt to the situation work with your conditions and maybe you'll catch a fish and maybe you won't put in the time put in the work and i hope you guys will take that and soak it in and utilize it you know while you're out here wherever you are enough of that man i am tired we got stuff to do after this we're pretty much done fishing so i'm gonna close it out there guys everything i use in this video will be in the description below be sure to check that out subscribe if you already have not drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed baby videos and definitely if you enjoy watching my videos on the damn toilet if you didn't enjoy this video i understand but thank you for watching anyways other than that guys that's it i'm done all right as always good fishing and peace the hell out